Welcome to Quick Aircraft Facts. Our mission is to teach those interested about aircraft in three minutes or less. This is the B-2 Spirit Bomber. It was designed primarily to deploy thermonuclear weapons deep into enemy territory. But when the end of the Cold War arrived, the size of the B-2 program was drastically reduced by Congress, which canceled the purchase of 132 additional stealth bombers. However, the remaining 21 bombers were able to be adapted. These upgrades allowed them to overcome the challenges brought on by a new era. In the mid-1970s, stealth technology was something being researched and quietly developed by several corporations. The history of the B-2 goes even further back in time to 1947 with the YB-49 and a little further back into 1946 with the YB-35. Computer technology drastically improved enough to make it safe to operate a flying wing aircraft, or in other words, a fixed wing aircraft that is tailless and contains just about everything, such as fuel, payload, and crew compartments in the main wing structure. The primary obstacle and a major point of debate throughout the B-2's history is, and you might have guessed it, money. Operational cost is the reason the program was reduced back then and why its retirement has been moved up to 2032 instead of 2058, the year the United States Air Force originally planned to retire the B-2. Numerous upgrades over the years helped the B-2 overcome the other obstacles. In short, upgrades to its computer and weapons systems increase the stealth bomber's effectiveness, longevity, and lethality. It has executed its conventional role very well, and it can still execute its primary role and deploy nuclear weapons when needed. Only one B-2 bomber has been lost during an accident. The remaining 20 stealth bombers, as well as the B-1 Lancer, will be replaced by the B-21 Raider. Until then, the B-2 will continue excelling in its current role.